I don't know much about the health status meter over there on the side of the screen, but I do know that uh, it's pretty clear what happens uh, if it drops, which is that it goes hostile. And uh, going after the pillar of the community might cause that, even if they are worth 4,000 experience, which uh, you can get there with other characters. Although two is kind of harder to get. Uh, right there, I think they're partly in serious condition because they need to be healed, though. Like I can make some decoctions for fatigue and stuff like that and run around and heal some people, and that might make their whole meter progress upwards. Maybe I should just try to treat everybody because I'm the doctor. Possibly. I need to visit my... Is she shaking? Oh, that's her... That's physics. Physics is being weird. Well, it's sorry. Oh, right. That's still happening. Well, sorry about the dead guy. Uh, where can I... I need to do medical shit. The fuck was that? The fuck is happening? Y'all aren't supposed to be in here. Wait, are they killing her patients? Were y'all killing Ashbury's? They were. I'm not Ashbury. It's not her name. <laughs> Did they kill all of her patients? What the fuck? How'd they even get in here? Why'd they even get in here? Wow, every single one of her patients is dead. That's not even- that doesn't even have anything to do with my decision. They didn't- it's not like they ha knew what happened. They just decided to wander in and murder everybody. What the fuck? Wow. Way to undo- undo her efforts, huh? Everything outside is a fight. I really don't like how you can't hit people that are down on the ground. Like, what's the logic of that? Ow. Ow, my stamina. Man, that stamina likes to stay low. There we go. They just came right the fuck in. Yeah, this is the inside gate of their place. Mr. Petrescu. Hello, Dr. Reed. Come on in. Is that the consequence of me opening those two gates? Is that they're actually unlocked for everyone and they actually did come in? Is that actually how it's programmed? Yes. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. He's not reacting to the change in any meaningful way. So he doesn't seem to have been affected. Huh. Well, I'm going to go to my hideout. Which is here? No. And I'm gonna make some, uh, cures for everybody. How about that? My way of repaying the consequences of what I've done is that I've, uh... I've told her to stop blackmailing, but what if I run around and cure some people? Right after this loads. Grabbing my notepad for notes real quick. So if I go over, I can write I can write down real quick what their conditions are. Alright, so It's fatigue. Uh, it's one hash mark, two hash marks, three hash marks, migraine, 
Four hash marks on fatigue. Hold. Hold. Bronchitis. That's a... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cases of diseases. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Should be accurate. Let's see how much I can get done. That's why we have all this stuff, right? I've also got plenty I can scavenge. Yes. Bag of junk. Unfortunately, it does not contain what I want it to contain, which is, uh, candles. Fatigue, four. I'm loaded up on these things, too. Uh, migraine... I don't know how to cure a mine grain, evidently. Alright. Uh, cold, though. I can do two of those. And then bronchitis. I don't know how to cure migraines. Gonna have to find somebody who can sell me the last third of recipes that must be down here. Still, pretty good progress there. Uh... Hmm. I have so many ingredients, I'm just going to make two of everything. Just to have them prepped. Oh, don't have codeine. Oh, it's bronchitis is eight codeine. That may have been less of a good idea than I thought it was. <laughs> uh, we can get more ingredients in the future, though, if we need to. I just thought that... Uh, it seemed like I had so many, and everything seemed to only require like two. And I was like, I have like 40 of these ingredients, and I need like two or three for a recipe. I missed the relatively large costs that occasionally crop up with like eight coding. Whoops. Still, let's run, and ru let's run around and cure some motherfuckers. I'm going to make them all better, whether they like it or not. Trying to get rid of the marker. Oh, X. Oh, you can make multi you can make two markers. Neat. Anyway. Christina and Clayton both have fatigue. Let's start with them. I'm being a doctor. I'm even doctoring. Uh well I found you guys first, I guess. Uh oh, your son has fatigue. I'll fix that son right up. Oh, he lives here. Good evening, Harry. May I come in? Sure. Sure. Even my dreams are soaked with glue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, may I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? Do you need any medical help, young man? Yes, I do. I feel so tired. I don't know if it's the epidemic, but everything seems so hard. You'll feel better with this, but you need to get a grip, young man. Medication alone won't cure melancholia. I'm not sure I'm happy with the idea of living long in a world like this. But I thank you for your concern, sir. Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. Even my dreams are soaked with gloom. Oh, he said gloom. For a second there, I thought he said that his dreams were soaked with glue, and I was like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> it's a strange claim. Good evening, Christina. Change your mind, Mr. Reed? Do you need any assistance, Miss Popper? It depends on the price of your medicine. I am shocked that you would think I am that sort of man. Forgive my suspicion. I'm so used to liars with good manners. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. Gotta take care of our stock, right? They're all gonna be nice and fixed up. 
and then some of them will mysteriously disappear at some point. You're covering. I don't see Clayton around here. I can fix Albert. He's like way away, strangely though. Like he's he's off in some spot. Even Darius is sick. And that's one of the dudes that works with the doctor. Good evening, Doctor. Can I help you? Do you need assistance? That would be nice of you, Doctor. Who knows what I may have caught during my investigation. If you persist in investigating the most pox-ridden boroughs of London, you must accept the risks. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. Would you like me to revive you? Haven't I looked at this already? Thought I had. Maybe it's yet, yet another one? Hey, guy that loves graveyards too much, how you doing? I think these continually- oh. Editor refusal letter. Did I not read that before? Sycophant Publishing L Limited, Lavender Court, Camden Street, London. Dear Mr. Nethercott, I thank you for sending your book of poems, Songs from the Defeated City, which we found as interesting and profound as we told you the first time we received it. Alas, in the terrible times our country is currently facing, you must understand that such title would be totally inappropriate for any publication. Thus, since you still refuse to change your title and demand the full publication of none of your or, or none of your work, I am sorry to announce that Sycophant Publishing uh, chose the second option. With kindest regards, A.G. Morris. Ah. You're being pointlessly difficult. Good evening, Mr. Nithercott. And good evening to you too, my good sir. Can I be of any help? Do you need medical attention, sir? It may be wise to let you prescribe me something. I don't feel like I should. I understand your appetite for words and macabre beauty, sir. But you should be more careful. The nutrition of my mind is more important than my physical health. But I appreciate your concern, sir. Did you know the Mute Florist is a member of a secret society? No, I didn't. But I thank you for this information, sir. For it only enriches the mystery surrounding the precious Camellia. Are you not curious? Is there not more you wish to know? That girl has not an ounce of malice in her. Whatever she may be hiding, it's certain to be for the benefit of most, if not all. I fear you are a hopeless romantic, Mr. Nethercott. Guilty as charged, Dr. Reed. You don't really make a living from your scribblings, do you, Richard? No, sir, I don't. I work so hard. I put all my time, my energy, my devotion, into the precise carving of words. Still, you don't seem to suffer from poverty. With thanks to my parents, actually. I'm afraid I would not be able to live on my own without their help. You seem embarrassed. Someday I hope to proudly offer my first publication to my parents. Until that day, I'll remain the failure of a son they have to support. I'll leave you alone, sir. If it's so important to you that you impress your parents by public publishing something, why not change the title of your work? Calling it the Defeated City is not going to go over well anyway, even if they do publish it with the audiences, because you're a really dark thing to say to your this uh, city that's currently in this kind of conflict call it the defeated city recovering 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 need to find albert and darius and cadigan i found cadigan in a different district i think so i don't know if i'll even find him that easily well, I can probably at least get uh, Darius and Albert, if I can find Albert again. Well, he Albert was near the direction we came from. To 
Tobias Whitaker. Of course he is healthy. Not actually as good at navigating these locations as I'd like to be. Um. Shit. This is the back area with the barn and stuff. Well, this is the first place I saw when I left, right? No, this is the first place I saw when I went to get... No. It's where I ended up when I went to get the cures. Oh, wait, here. This is Darius' house. Hello, Mr. Petrescu. Hello, Dr. Reed. Come on in. Yes? Do you need some help, Mr. Petrescu? I am very tired, but that is all. I don't need you, Doctor. Well, I think you do. Take this, and you'll feel better. Free drugs from an English doctor. <laughs> it must be my lucky day. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. There we go. At least most people are recovering. I think it's time to head back to Lady Ashbury. And if I'm lucky, I'll find Albert on the way back. But, uh... I've tried. They're probably back towards this way, right? That's at least the direction that's most direct back to the, the hospital. The most likely direction for this to be in. Of course, she's healthy. She'd be putting on a bad face for the shop if she got sick. And we wouldn't want that now, would we? Ah, you. Oh, here we are. How are you, boys? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. Do you need assistance? Please. Feeling tired these days. There you go. Let's hope nobody steals it from you. Very funny. Goodbye, young man. <laughs> <laughs> that actually was funny. That was actually that was actually funny. Let's hope nobody steals it from you, he says to the boy who steals medicine from his own family, so he can join a gang. You know, I haven't been down there yet. It is like a whole road that leads places, though. Maybe a good looting opportunity? The enemies that seem to be there before are seemingly gone. Ah. Oh. That would do it. What? No. Again? Oh, I actually died. Damn, you go down abruptly. I haven't figured out that weird shockwave attack thing. If you're not strong enough, remember that the blood of citizens is the fastest way to evolve. Right now, the fastest way to evolve is to actually go to bed. But then more people get sick, and it costs me money to fix people. So it seems like the most efficient way in this game is to sleep as little as possible, which is a little annoying just because it's kind of annoying to restrict yourself in that way, but yeah, they did contextualize sleeping as being a thing that passes time, so it'd be kind of weird not to. Where am I? After defeating so many of them in a row, I'm getting reckless or something. Yum, 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 yum. How you doing? Feeling good? Ow. There we go. 
I go down quick, so does he? Oh. Yeah, they ki he killed the shit out of the locals. What's up with that? Did things get worse around here? Curfew. Uh, or is it time... Did time of day change? No, time of day doesn't really change as much because I do have to be out at night all the time in this game. <clears throat> I wonder what was going on there. Also, I wonder if you stay if you stay up for twelve out uh, for eight hours straight or something like that. Does the uh, does it just become daytime on its own? That'd be kind of interesting if the game had a day night cycle, that just, but it was real time, real time, like like normal human t life, real time. So it would only come into t to play if you finally marathoned so long in one day that eight hours had passed, and now it was like then the game's fine. Like fuck it, go to sleep, which actually. It's completely reasonable, because uh, in a Western RPG, you could totally eat, reach like eight hours without, uh, like, for, without really forcing yourself to go back to sleep or even continue the main story. In many cases, this is all going off in a totally different direction. I saw a shiny though. There we go. I'm gonna head back. Just wanted to see if there's any obvious stuff to grab in this little alley right into the bridge. And, uh, oh, teleport. And among other things, there was a freaking, uh, surprise werewolf that wasn't here before. That was worth taking out. It'd be kind of nice if taking out enemies that severe had a... Blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Oh, am I being called? But the, uh, oh, maybe an... It, it could be Lady Ashbury sending me a signal, or it could be vampire hunters luring me into a trap. But yeah, part of me wonders, like, it'd be kind of nice if the stability of, an, of a region would be improved if you took out the, uh, straight-up werewolf monsters in it and stuff like that. Oh wow, that dude's gonna have some trouble. I don't care though, so whatever. Have fun dying, dude. I'm gonna check out my new hideout. Neat. I still can't upgrade this, right? Haven't been lucky enough to get one more. Of course not. It's too bad, ooh. I got that one. There we go, decrease stamina consumption. Only I could be so lucky with the other one. I don't even use those items so far. Maybe as I continue the story in the next step, they'll force me to sleep. That ha that di I was forced to sleep after I finished the first day of the game, basically. Rats. Yum, 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 yum. Don't judge me. Me. Stop judging me, me. What? Toby Sheen and Vincent Sheen? Not those guys. They're prob- Oh, you made, you made me- you made me waste it. Oh, he's got like an anti-staking shield. Oh, oh shit, there's more than two of them. Like, a fair bit more than two of them. The way I see it here is that each each of them is easier to stick to ow. Each of them is easiest to feed on the first time. Ow. Oh boy, where'd you come from? Had a weird lock-on moment there. I don't even know what was happening, honestly. Okay, lock-on's getting really disastrous here. I need to just turn it off in some of these cases instead of trying to, to make it redirect to the who I want it to. Ow.
out. There we go. That wasn't very nice, sir. Gotcha. Is the other guy ever gonna come over here? I assume you care too, right, Mr. Toby? Or are you just gonna hang out over there? Are you guys basically just meat sacks? Does this fight have like an additional horde of enemies for the explicit purpose of me being able to feed on them, or what? I think they're infinitely spawning too. Oh. My damage radius is way smaller than I would expect. Ooh. But I can cast from all the way over here. Okay. That's interesting. Doesn't like fire, does it? <laughs> they really do just keep coming. Ow. Are all these guys worth experience? Are you guys spawning on like a timer? Does just survival matter so little to you? He doesn't, he doesn't even dodge projectiles. He's down, finish it. I'm totally fine, dude. I can just keep feeding. It's not really, nothing's really stopping me. And now I'm eating you. Yum, 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 yum. Didn't think this one through very well, did you? Now it's down to just you guys. I got bad news. Gotta keep that blood meter full, right? <laughs> there we go. That's a very effective spell. Glad I chose it first. Go pick that rat is! Oh, that's the giant- wow, that's the rat they used for the blood sample? To lure me in? That's a fucking huge rat. So, congrats. Good job on finding that particular rat. Did I kill a bunch of dudes over here? I have 7,000 experience. It really reduces the need to feed on people in this game when the guy I fed on gave me 1,000 experience and then since then I've gained 7,000. I don't see anything else around here to get. Not big on drops, huh? Oh. Just kind of a random boss fight they threw in there for the main story. That's fine. And we're back. I should double check who around here is sick. You've got fatigue. Mortimer Goswick. Did I not cure him? I thought I did. And then Oswald, Oswald has a headache, but I don't know where he is. Our unknown. Oh, it's just one of the random patients sitting around, isn't it? He usually is. Why is it locked now? How do I cure him if his door is locked? Oh. Here it comes. Good evening, doctor. No, not you. How is my son doing? I've read your son's medical report, Beatrice. It's not the flu or anything life-threatening. 
What has you so worried? He was at death's door when he was brought here. I just want him to be better as soon as possible. He's not out of the woods yet, you know. He might need to stay here longer than expected. Take care of him then, Dr. Reed. People here only seem to focus on contagious patients. I worry my poor Mortimer will be neglected. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Oh wait, I didn't double check his dialogue actually. Good evening, Doctor. How did I get to you? How is my son doing? I'm not even I'm not you're not even on my screen. Go away. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Your medical report says you're not affected by the Spanish flu. What do you think of that, Mortimer? Does it make me happy? Not in the slightest. If it was up to me, I would have left this place long ago. I know I don't belong here. And why do you think you don't belong here? I know the staff have more important things to do than look after me. There's plenty of patients here who need their attention. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. He kind of looks like instead of being uh, sick, he was just like assaulted, like somebody tried to strangle him. I forgot what the exact description was they had for what his throat problem is. 